We're talking about loving with our words. We began last week, but again, it's a big topic, so I'm gonna continue it today. I have a lot of words about talking about words. We love others through speaking words of hope. Can you just hear that? Gary Chapman wrote a book called The Five Love Languages. This is what he writes. I'm amazed at how many individuals mess up every new day with yesterday. They insist on bringing into today the failures of yesterday. And in so doing, they pollute a potentially wonderful day. My question is, is that true for you? It's hard to have hope for the future when you remain chained to the past. So what words are you speaking? Past failures, all right, past mistakes, or, or are you speaking about a future filled with hope? Years ago, there's an evangelist named Bill Glass. He asked a thousand prison inmates, how many of you had parents who told you that one day you would end up in prison? He said nearly every one of the inmates raised their hand. We're blessed to partner with Missions of Hope in the Mathari Valley, that's in Kenya. And we go to the slum of 800,000 people with a toilet for every 80,000 people. Some live in these small homes with five to 10 people living inside of these homes. Open sewage just runs beside them, even under some of those homes. Missions of Hope, they've come in and they establish schools and churches, these hope centers that give kids words of hope. Not just words of hope, but tangible acts as well. But when you ask those kids what they wanna be, they'll tell you, when we grow up, we wanna be a doctor or a teacher or a pilot. Before you'd ask them what you wanna be and they'd say, I wanna be a kiosk person selling bananas or a, a taxi driver, or I wanna wash clothes. I'm just telling you, words create a new vision for them. Proverbs 15, four says, the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life, but a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. My wife, Julie, she was raised in a home with Christian parents and they spoke this love language as well. She has self-confidence and loves, all right, she loves a challenge because her parents seize teachable moments and they would pray with her, right? Lord, I can't wait to see how you're gonna use Julie. Lord, she has so many gifts, so many talents. And when you hear that time and time again, right, she'd fall asleep and she's not questioning whether or not God could use her. Instead, she's thinking how God can use her. It's like the little boy. He said, Daddy, I'm gonna throw the dart. You draw the bullseye around it and you cheer for me. Encouraging words. They can impact our future. So make sure your words can be trusted as well. Words of hope and words that are trusted. Jesus proved his words could be trusted. In Matthew 8, there's a great conversation between a centurion and Jesus. And he wants Jesus to heal his child. And again, it's a great conversation. But finally in verse 13, Jesus said to the centurion, go, it will be done just as you believed it would. And a servant was healed at that very hour, is what the text says. Matthew, he doesn't keep us in suspense. He inserts that rest of the story. So we know that Jesus' words can be trusted. If you or I constantly break our promises, our words lose meaning. If every day a husband says encouraging words, you're the best wife, but then is unfaithful, his words mean nothing. His words can't be trusted. Gary Smalley says when it comes to verbal encouragement, the most common mistake that parents and that grandparents make is saying that I'm gonna tell them tomorrow. When's the last time you told your child, I love you? Again, Proverbs 18, death and life are the power of the tongue. The question as we wrap up, who needs to hear you speak words of love today? Is it your spouse, your grandson, coworker, neighbor, a friend, a teacher? The Lord wants you today to encourage someone with your words. Words through a card, a phone call, an email, it's your words. And I pray that you will follow up on who the Holy Spirit is prompting you to love and encourage with your words today.